Good morning, it's Thursday, March 11th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so that you can all be prop from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. Folks, i got two great press releases for you, one from each side of the border, one from Canada, one from the U.S., and I've got two halts to report on the second segment. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Prophecy Resource Corp. They trade on the TS. SX Venture under the symbol PCY. The company is announcing an updated technical report on its 80% owned titanium vanadium property located in northeastern Sudbury, Ontario. Now, the property is estimated to contain an inferred resource of 49 million tons at 0.24% uh, vanadium. 14.8% titanium dioxide and 48% iron oxide. Uh, now, this is located within two and a half kilometers of a high voltage transmission line and with eight kilometer, within eight kilometers of a railroad, so there's infrastructure nearby if this ever becomes a mine. Uh, and additionally, it's amenable to open pit mining. It has an overburden cover between zero and approximately one and a half kilometers. The less overburden, the better. It means less exploration costs or less development costs. Uh, now, what's vanadium? Vanadium, uh, vanadium constitutes the next wave of car battery technology, at least according to some experts, and is currently valued at approximately $29 per kilogram or $13 per pound. The company is last at 55 cents, high of 64 cents, low of 2 cents, market cap of approximately $12.8 million. Now moving on to our next company, China Natural Gas. They trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol CHNG. The company is announcing their fourth quarter results ended December 31st, 2009. The company is a provider of compressed natural gas for vehicular fuel and pipeline natural gas for industrial, commercial, and residential use in China. Now, I've got the fourth quarter highlights, which include revenue in the fourth quarter increased by 18% to $21.5 million. Gross profit in the fourth quarter of 2009 increased by 11% up from last year, same period. And finally, we've got operating income for the fourth quarter with $6.7 million, which is an increase of 17% year over year. Additionally, we've got some balance sheet numbers. December 31st, 09, the company had cash and cash equivalents of $48 million. Company is last at $10.58, high of $18, low of $7, market cap of approximately $224 million. Now, I've got a couple halts for you as well. First one is Swift Power Corp. Trades on the venture under the symbol SPC, halted pending news. And Finavera Renewables trades on the venture under the symbol FVR, halted pending news. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to join us again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.